Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here with Matt. How are you, Matt? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. We are at the Saddle Ridge Riding Center, mm -hmm. and today we have Hope with her horse, Brady. And what are we talking about today? Uh, we're talking about frame rates on the EOS HD cameras. Cool. So we've got a 7D here, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk a little bit about why we would shoot at 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, uh, specialized frame 60. rate like 60, and then play it back at 24 frames per second for that slow motion effect. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we'll even talk a little bit about the difference between NTSC and PAL. So that'd be great. great. Good. So let's start off with 30. First of all, let's get into the menu and take a look at where our frame rates are. Okay. And then we'll talk a little bit about that look. So we go in there and movie record size. Mm -hmm. And on each of the cameras, it's in a slightly different place. So you just have to find where we actually have those frame rates. And if we go in there, we'll see, what do we see? So we've got all the different flavors. So again, this is the 7D. So we've got 1920 by 1080 at 30 and at 24. And then also at 1280 by 720, we have 60. And then we also have a standard def version of 60 as well. Got it. And then the only camera that we don't have that 1280 by 720 at 60 uh, currently is the 5D Mark II and then all of the other cameras have that 60 right, frames nice. per second, which uh -huh. we like to use. Again, we shoot at 60 frames per second and play it back at 24, and we get what we call over-cranking, exactly. and then it's that slow motion effect. Yep. So cool. So 30 frames per second is what we really associate with broadcast television, right? Right. And a lot of what we grew up with, at least here in the United States, with um, sitcoms. The news. News, right? Mm -hmm. uh, reality shows, a lot of those. Mm -hmm. And some of those nature shows and things like that are usually shot at uh, 30 frames per second. Exactly. And when we see 30 here, and when we say 30 frames per second, we're actually talking about the broadcast standard, which is 29.97 frames per second. So when we say 30, that's what we're referring to. Right. So now let's go ahead and talk about 24 frames per second and okay. what that's all about. So I'm going to switch over to 24. Yeah. So once we're changing our frame rates, we need to keep in mind to adjust our shutter speeds as well uh, appropriately. So I'll go ahead and switch that over to a 50th of a second. So we get the right motion blur exactly. and everything. Okay, good. And so now we're seeing uh, a little bit of a difference here because now we're shooting at six frames per second less. Right. And this is really the frame rate that has been used as a standard for a very long time for feature films. Right. And so we associate that uh, shutter speed uh, and we associate that frame rate with a filmic with look. Film. And yep. of course, now that we have cameras like the EOS HD cameras with these huge sensors mm -hmm. and we can get selective focus, we really have all of the ingredients that we need to create cinematic looking stuff. Yep. So it's good stuff. And of course, interchangeable lens systems. So, uh, so that's great. So now the other one that we have in here mm -hmm. is 60 frames per second. Okay, go ahead and switch over to 60. Yep. And of course, again, go ahead and adjust my shutter speed. So now I'll be at 1 125th. Yep. And then, then of course, now we're exposing each frame less. So we have to really think about our exposure. Our so it now here you can see, you know, this is very easy to see. It gets very smooth, very clean, because we're just adding more information per second. Right. So we've got 60 frames per second. It looks very video. Um, when we shoot it this way. And again, most of the time when we're shooting at 60 frames per second, we're playing it back at a lower frame rate. Exactly. Uh, but of course, the internet is frame rate agnostic, so we could in fact edit something and we could play it back at 60 frames per second if we wanted to. Yep. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over from NTSC to PAL because a lot of people are shooting all over the world with these cameras and they need to be able to, if a producer says to them, we need you to shoot in PAL, um, they need to be able to do that. Exactly. And we you don't can have shoot, to get another camera. <laughs> right. And out of the box, we can shoot in both right. with all of these EOS HD cameras. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay. And of course, this is going to be in a different place on each of the camera systems. Mm -hmm. But we see here, it says video system. And we then, have NTSC yep. and PAL. Okay, good. Now, what happens when we go back to our frame rates when we do that? So when we go back to our frame rates, it's now going to give us slightly different options. Got it. So now uh, we're shooting at either 25 frames a second. Yeah or at 24 frames a second, or for our fast motion, our overcranked, we're gonna be shooting at 50 frames a second. Got it, so our PAL frame rate standard is 25 frames per second. Mm -hmm. So if we're shooting you know, in one of those countries or we're being asked to shoot PAL, then we would shoot at 25. Right. But they're still giving you the option on the Canon EOS HD cameras to shoot at 24, 24 frames per second. And then of course, if we wanna overcrank or we shoot slow motion stuff and we're set to PAL, we can shoot at 50. Exactly. And that's great. And then just remember your shutter speeds need to correspond to that. So if you're shooting at 25 frames per second at the 50th, 50th, you're shooting at 24, you're at a 50th, just because that's the way we set them up on here. And then if we're at 50, then we would set it to 100. Yep. And that's it. 
So I think what we should do is we should dip to black, come back up, and we'll roll some footage here on Hope with Brady, and we'll take a look at these different frame rates. Sometimes it's more subtle than others when you're looking at 30 compared to 24. Uh, sometimes it's more apparent. You'll see it. You'll see a big difference, especially in narrative work when you see films, you know, with actors and things like that. But uh, thank you very much, Matt. You bet. Thank you. Cool.